Hey guys, Nolar here, back with another video, JP Dokon video, I guess. Um, look, they dropped the announcement that for this celebration we're going to have Int EZA uh, Gogeta. So that's kind of interesting because I thought there was going to be another extreme unit, but Gogeta's out here. I'll give you some speculation theories as to why that's going on, but let's just talk about what I think he should do, what I hope he does, because... Uh, there's a lot of potential here for him to be really, really good. Um, but uh, let, let's talk about it real quick. So let's look at his uh, kit right now. I have it up on the screen. Uh, should be up there. Yep. And immense damage floors attack an enemy. Uh, enemies attack and defense, which is really interesting because I think at the time he released three years ago, Golden Week, 2017 Golden Week, he was the first super type unit to do some kind of debuffing. And that was really cool. That like differentiated him from all the other super type units, you know? So, um, you know, standard at the time, it was all about attack. So attack 120, attack affecting things all types, you know, the Gogeta thing. Um, he is, you know, one of three Super Gogetas. This is the uh, original OG, you know, the one that broke the meta. <laughs> but when he got his EZA, it's pretty good because he, he got the same thing. He got the lower attack and defense. Um, and then he got 7% attack per rainbow keys to obtain. Everything's attack effective against all types. Still really good, just not that defensive, obviously, because, uh, you know, they just gave him a 77% uh, stat boost. Uh, you gotta remember that these guys, uh, this one in particular, had the, uh, five, it was a 7,000 stat boost, because back then, their stats didn't max out very well, you know what I mean? So, in the potential system, they gave him more of a boost, which is why they only gave him 77%, I want to say. Uh, still really good, but he's one of the, the one of the three super Gogetas. The last one is, of course, a physical LR. It's better defensively, right? Because obviously he's an LR, plus he gets 150% to all stats. So he's really good. Now, look, this guy's more of an attacker. That's an LR, so I'm not going to even consider it. Um, as I close these tabs down, I want to talk about him and what he can do. Now, what's interesting is... I'm gonna look, let's break down his like categories um, and his link skills because he essentially has the same link skills as everyone else, but one link. The one link he doesn't have and it's changed is this experienced fighters. So if we look at experienced fighters over here, these are all the units that have it. It's a 50% attack link, which is pretty big. Um, so, of course, you know, movie boss, uh, movie heroes will have it on this team. All the extreme uh, super int units, you know, Piccolo, I mean, if you anyone using that. Um, of course, uh, this support Goku's got it, and then the Vegito, so if you're running uh, Super Int, that's pretty good. Of course, again, the LR has it as well, and all these units have it here, too. So if you're looking at, uh, you know, all these guys, like Bardock, um, looking at these Piccolos, the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock here, you know, it's pretty, pretty good that they all have these, you know? Uh, this is it. Strength LR, Vegito does, too. So... It's a good link. It's the one link that differentiates himself from the STR one. And, um, but the STR one's already a fairly effective attacker. So what I want them to do here is I want them to make him a defensive unit. And here's why. Let's look at Fusion. He's a Fusion, so he belongs in this category. But as you look at all these units, you see really any defensive units? That's the one thing about Super Battle Road, the fusion stage, is that you get hit really hard, and a lot of those units have um, a ton of health, and they hit, like, none of these guys have any defensive capabilities. Like, the Gogeta is really, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is really, their defense is strictly off of uh, dodging and countering, right? Um, and then the Int one relies on debuffing, I think he relies on debuffing, same with him. You know, he seals, so like, no one's a really tank here, and this is why I want him to be a tank, because that differentiates himself, I mean, the Super Saiyan Gogeta, what uh, that does is he gives him, uh, when he transforms, he gets dodges, right? So when he gets the dodges, that's his form of defense, but if he get doesn't dodge and gets hit, it lights out. That's why I want this guy, the end one, to be a, a defensive unit, so how do I make that happen? Uh, we'll talk about that when I get through the rest of the stuff, so like, look, that was Fusion. Let's look at movie heroes. Okay. Yeah, there's some defensive units. Like this guy, it's all about utility, right? He lowers attack and defense. He seals. Um, you know, they seal. But is there anyone that could just straight up take a hit? Right? Yeah, I look at these units and I go, kind of, kind of not. Like, 
he'll get hit on a normal uh they'll hit a, get a super for like 40 to 60k on super bad road maybe 70k but can anyone be defensive enough to not take a hit that hard not really i'm, I'm still looking at this entire list yeah maybe uh he does because he guards you know i mean sort of but not really i mean the the blue the, the fusions the super saiyan blue goku and vegeta they uh I mean, you gotta give them orbs. So yeah, they could, but if you just put them in slot one, can they tank a hit? No, they can't. And the and the reason why I want to make him a tank, it's just a lot of things like you know, because he's based off of the Janemba movie, right? So look at the Janemba movie. He straight up took a hit to the face from Janemba, but no damage, right? All the World Warriors, uh, they need they need a tank. Kind of, uh, kind of, kind of not. I mean, he's a tank, but he needs his super first. You wouldn't put him in slot one. You'd ideally put him in slot two. Uh, yeah, th this whole category needs help. I mean, Frieza stacks defense, so yes, over time he'll he is the tank. But more options doesn't hurt, right, guys? Like this is a very limited category, and if you have a diversification of units that have dip fill different roles, I don't see how that's a bad thing. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Final trump card. You have some defensive units. I mean, on the extreme side, there's more defensive style units than you do on the super side. Because right, I'm just looking at all... Like, he's got a chance to guard, which is terrible. Just give him guard or no guard at all. You know what I mean? Uh, some debuffing. Okay, this guy's a tank once you start, you know, stacking him and building him. But turn one, not really anyone else I can think of. Like, he lowers attack and defense. Counters and dodges. Dodges and counters. Um... No, I mean, besides him, but if he eats a super, he dies. You know, so there's some options here, but again, second, like I said earlier, more options doesn't hurt. Now, how would I make him defensive? Obviously, you give him a 130 attack and like 100% defense or 130 defense, something along those lines. Because he's based on the movie heroes, like against Janemba, you could say if he's fighting against the movie bosses, he gets like automatic like 50 percent damage reduction you know or if, let's say you have a movie heroes ally movie bosses enemy uh, automatic 50 percent damage reduction which means he's kind of pigeonholed a little bit with the movie hero setup but i mean i've got a chunk of fusions are movie heroes super saiyans there's a good chunk oh I, I think i missed this one but this one's a little more fleshed out because super saiyans there's a lot more options right I mean, yeah he's your tank <laughs> this guy's your tank you know uh he raises defense after supering but he's old now he, there you got damage reduction there's way more options in this category in super saiyans and than any other uh of the categories that super Int gogeta belongs to so you know like he can has damage reduction and stuff so yeah I, I i'm not considering that again more options never hurts right so you could do that or you could do something like the super type where you got rainbow's key spheres um you gain defense or damage reduction or upon supering you give your allies you and your allies like 30 percent defense something along those lines they can make him way more tanky and that's what i'm saying is like fusions in particular like i'm just thinking of fusion extreme super battle road that thing is just rough you're eating items left and right especially that first stage because it's i mean he won't help that that much because he's got he's off against int uh, he's an int unit that's off against physical but i mean you could just give him guard just straight up give him guard like with uh another super saiyan ally you get guard or movie heroes ally you get automatic guard like anything along those lines perfect you know what i mean um wouldn't really help out with other world warriors but like those fusion and movie heroes like that's that's really what this guy is based around you know so i'm kind of surprised that he got an easy a first before anybody else i mean any other super unit he doesn't need it that badly. Um, I think out of all the super units, probably Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku needed the most. Only problem is with physical Gotenks. Uh, physical Gotenks too, but the thing is, like they've shown a trend that if you have a negative effect to your passive, EZAs will never eliminate it. They will mitigate it some more, but they won't ever eliminate it. So Gotenks... He'll get better, but he won't be that much better. I think he'll be just like a Super Saiyan 3 tech one. You just you get an easy and you just forget about it. You're like, oh yeah, he got one. Not great, but whatever. So why I'm surprised he got it first is because uh yeah, like Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku needed it more. But then on top of that, 
that kind of leads into the theory that people are saying um, New Year's is going to be Super Gogeta transforming LR Super Gogeta plus like LR Janemba transforming LR Janemba. Two major issues with that theory. One, um, New Year's has never been an LR Dual Dokkan Fest. Um, when the anniversaries and the uh, worldwide celebrations have all for the last two three years have been LR Dual Dokkan Fest, it's never happened on New Year's. It's always just been TURs, and I. Even though I want another Super Gogeta, I want it to be an LR. Not because I like the rates, I hate the rates, uh, but because it feels like it deserves it and it would like really flesh out some of those better options. But, uh, and I, I'd like to see like a really cool 812 key, 18 key supers for Gogeta and Janemba. Like, I just want to see that. I just want that fleshed out. And if that's what I want, it shouldn't happen for New Year's, but at least credence that maybe New Year's is going to be another TUR version of these guys. Like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta got TURs. You know, the end one's gotten TUR, so, like, why couldn't this next set of probably tech Super Gogeta and uh, what typing would you put in Janemba? Probably AGL? Yeah, probably AGL because there's a strength, there's an int. Maybe physical? Physical's got a lot of love this year, too. Even though, like, Strength's got the most love on both Super and Extreme. But, um, anyways, just, I'm kind of rambling on here, but I'm just saying, like, him getting this early when there's no correlation at all to Bojack, uh, doesn't, like, just kind of scratches my head and be like, either they're doing this purpose, uh, doing this, like, randomly, or they have a purpose, like, the next time, next Dual Dogon Fest is gonna be Janemba Super Gogeta. Transforming versions and uh, go, uh, Janemba will get his easy A then too, you know? Uh, but yeah, all I want to say is that the, all the Super Gogetas fulfill a specific role. Um, well, when you have multiple units that have the same name and they're all, they, and so you can only put, bring one of them, the best way to make them all viable is to give them uh, other specific roles. So, like, uh, let's talk about Rose here, which I'm going to spell incorrectly here. So this AGL one, right? He's gotten his easy A. He became a tank, right? Look at this. 30% defense with each attack received up to 180. Greatly raises defense for one turn. Um, still a support. So he's a tanky support, I guess is the best way to put it. But if you look at his LR counterpart, this guy's just straight up offense, right? You know? Yeah, he raises defense, but he's got a super first, right? So you never put him in slot one. But... An additional 6% attack with each key rising up to 120. Massive. Massive. He's a... He can, like, destroy people. It's like 7, 8 million is, like, reasonable. At least with my LR rainbowed one, right? It's just reasonable that can happen. Um, and then you go to the SGR one, who will eventually get an easy A, but he's just an overall general support. Where is he? God, he's gonna be two years old right now. Two years? Yeah. So... Raising attack, everyone's get uh, attack and defense, and then debuffing. So he's just all law, all around utility, way more than the, S, uh, the AGL one. So if you need, excuse me, guys, if you need more of a general utility support, this is him. If you want a defensive support, you can take the uh, AGL one. If you just want a hard hitter, you take the LR Ant, right? They all have the same name, but they fulfill different roles. And that's what Super Gogeta with this Int one's got to do. The strength one got his easy A, and he's just a straight up attacker, right? So keep him that way and make the end one the defensive one. And if I need a tank, I'm taking the end one. He can still do damage, obviously. Super effective. 120% attack. Probably go up to like 130, maybe 150 along those lines. He'll get some defense. I hope he gets some damage reduction <coughs> uh, on top of his uh, debuffing. And he's going to be fantastic. He'll, he'll be a super bad road king at that point. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. That's what I want to see out of him. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, you know, Koski, they're going to do whatever they want. Throw a huge curveball left field and be like, yeah, we'll make him another hard hitter. We'll do this. We'll do that. Whatever the case may be. We'll find out soon. Check out on the 5.9 channel. Uh, we got your submissions for fan made cards. And we'll be uh, reviewing those with all the creators. So definitely check out 5.9 and on Twitter and all that stuff. So. Anyways, guys, that is it for me today. 
Uh, if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you're new here and like, um, like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time, all right? Dolar out.